So we're in a demo environment of Dynamics 365 Sales. And there are a couple of different ways that you can create quotes. You might create them from an opportunity. You might go right into quotes and create one without starting from a sales opportunity. You can even give yourself the ability to create one right directly from an account or a contact. I'm going to open up an existing opportunity. And from this opportunity, we're going to see that we've already got, if I switch over to my product line items tab, that we've got some different products added to this sales opportunity. So we've got three different types of products. We've got different quantities laid out here. We've also got some discounts applied along with some freight that's been added. Our current subtotal is around $63,000. On this opportunity, we're going to have our customer as well as the reason for the sales opportunity. It looks like this customer wanted two semi-automatic espresso machines. So we're a coffee machine distributor. In order to create that quote, all I have to do once I've got my products added is go into quotes and click plus new quote. That's going to open up a new quote that's going to take different information from our opportunity as well as our products and combine them to be all on one new form, this quote form. If I've got shipping information that I want to add, I can go ahead and do that now. If I've got a bill to and ship to address, I can add that as well. If I click look up address, I can find any addresses that are associated with that account that I've got. So it looks like they've got one in Redmond, so that's the one that I'm going to go with. That's going to automatically dump that into my quote form. Now for quote templates, up on the top in your command bar, you should find word templates. If word templates isn't visible for you, it could be that you've got an ellipsis here with three dots, and you just have to hit it for a drop down where you'll find word templates. Once you're there, you can go in and you can download a blank template. In order to start, you're going to have to fill out this short window, this wizard that's going to help you get set up. So your entity should be quote. I would recommend going in so that you can add your products and adding the one to many relationship for quote products. That's going to give you those quote line details. I'm going to select that and then select download. And that's going to download that blank word template for me. Once it's downloaded, go ahead and open up that new Word document or Word template that was created for you. It should be blank. You'll notice in the top of my screen here, I've got a Developer tab. If you don't already have a Developer tab in Microsoft Word, go ahead and go to File, go down to Options, and then find Customize Ribbon. You're going to want to add the Developer tab. Once you do that, come back into your template and choose XML Mapping. It's going to open up a window on the right side of your screen. From here, go ahead and hit that drop down and go down. It should be the second one from the bottom under or above Add New Part. You should find Document Template Quote. Once you select that, you're going to see Quote show up and that's going to give you the access to expand it to show all of the fields that are available for you to map into your quote template. Down even further below there, you're going to find quote details. If I expand quote details, that's going to give me basically access to all of those products that I added. So the product name, description, product price, quantity will all be here. So this document is going to allow me to go in and start adding images if I would like. So if I have some specific branding or theming that I want to add, I can do that. So whether you drag and drop those in or go in and copy and paste, whichever way works best for you, you can go ahead and start adding that content. Now for me, I'm just going to go ahead and, and I'm going to drag over a Stone Ridge software logo. I'm going to go ahead and add um, a condition here where text is just right through and then start formatting my template. So maybe I want to add company name, address, and then I'm going to continue to build my form out. So you might have quite a bit more that you want to see up top. If I want to add, start adding some, some uh, dynamic content, maybe this is where my two line goes. And I'm going to start adding customer information in here. 
So up top, I've got my customer name here. I right click it, insert content control, and add it as text. Below that, I might have my bill to address information. So now I've got line one. Let's go ahead and just for demo sake, we'll add in the city, comma, state. Again, I'm just right clicking each of these and postal code or zip code. All right, I might add some more static language that I'm always going to see. And then typically you're gonna add a table in here. So that's how I maybe I wanna display my products. To do that, you're just gonna use the out of the box word tools. So maybe I want a four by two table, we'll say. Um, I'm gonna say I want my product name. So this is all static. Description, price, and quantity. And this is where we're gonna leverage, not under quote, but actually under those quote details down below. So here are those quote details. I've already expanded it. And I'm in product name right now. So we're gonna go and find product name, right click and add that as text. Let's go ahead in the description area and we're gonna add that as text as well. We've got price, so we need product price. So let's go ahead and find price per unit. And then we need quantity. So what's the quantity of each of these products? So down below here, I might want to throw the total or discount information. Maybe I'm even going to throw um, my name in there and I want that to be dynamic as well. So if I come up and say, I want to add the owner. So I want my name to show up. Under total, I want the total amount. I'm going to right click and add that as well. But one thing uh, about this table is we need to make sure that if we've got more than one product, that that shows up as well. So the way to do that is to highlight that row. And then we want to come up to our quote up at the top, right click that. And when you highlight over insert content control, you should see repeating. Go ahead and select repeating, and then that's going to automatically map any additional products further down in your table. So this is very simple. Um, I didn't do a whole lot to this one, but I did add an image, some static and dynamic content, as well as my table. Once you're ready, go ahead and save it. Now you can save it as the very generic name that it is, or you could go and you could give it a more unique name as well. I'm just gonna keep the generic name. Um, that I got with this um, when I downloaded it out of Dynamics. And let's go ahead and minimize this to get back into our Dynamics environment. So the process for importing this is really straightforward. I'm going to hit my drop down under Word Templates. And instead of downloading, I want to upload a template. So I'm going to select Upload. Choose my file. Once I've attached my file, I'm gonna go ahead and select Upload. That's gonna add this as a new template. And I could add additional templates. You might, you might have five, you might have 10, you might have two. You know, Whatever that looks like, you can go ahead and continue to add additional templates. And all I have to do to visualize this now is come in to Export to PDF. This is where I'm able to download as a PDF I can email it directly. Maybe I've got that Outlook integration available to me. Or I could go ahead and save it to SharePoint or save it to Dynamics. If I've got SharePoint integration stood up as my document management solution, I can use it there. Down below now, you're going to see I've got the two out-of-the-box options, print quote for customer and quote summary that are available to me. But I've also got that quote that I template that I just created. So if I highlight this, you can see where it's going to go in and add that information. So now it's populating the name, description, price, and quantity, along with the customer's information, everything that I added in there, into my quote template, and I can proceed with emailing, downloading, or saving this. Maybe I wanna push this out to a customer. So that's really it for today for this video. I hope that helped you with going in and creating your own quote templates. 
If you have any additional questions, feel free to reach out. Have a great day.